because I know myself. I want all of you guys to know yourselves too. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rennie. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking your time out of your busy day to watch this video. On my channel, I do fashion, finance, lifestyle, and career. And today's video is going to be all about finance. So I know I've been on a roll. My last few videos have been about finance and we're really getting into the basics of finance. I will attach my playlist that outlines um, my different basics of finance videos. So especially if you're a beginner, this is the place to start. But today we're going to focus on the mindset shift that really has to happen in order for you to make money. There are lots of things that need to shift, honestly, but this one is the very, very, very basic concept of paying yourself first. I know it seems like a wild concept, like uh, I have bills to pay, how can I pay myself first? But honestly, this is the way this is the way that I have been able to save money. It's like a forced saving method. So I hope that you learn a lot from this video. If you've heard of this concept, comment down below. If you Let's get started right now. So we've gone over saving and investing and what the difference is. And I, I emphasize many times that you do need to do both. But many of you are probably thinking, but how do I do both? I don't have the discipline or, or the willpower. Like I want, I want to save and I want to invest, but there are so many other things that are happening in my life. Like I have bills to pay. I have people to feed. I have obligations. I know all these things exist. Everyone has these things. However, the concept of paying yourself really makes sure that you are creating wealth for your future, for future generations. And you're, 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 you're really prioritizing what is important. Of course your bills are important. I'm not saying your bills are not important, but paying yourself first is a concept that everyone needs to know. So what is paying yourself first? Essentially paying yourself first is when you treat your investment and your savings as a bill, something that you have to pay no matter what, and it is the first thing that you pay over every other bill. Too often we rely on ourselves to invest and save, and we think that somehow our human nature is not gonna come in. Our human nature, it does, like, we want want to save but you know things pop up we want to go out we want to do this we want to do that things of life will always pop up and when we have this mindset we're treating our savings and our investments as if they're optional something that that we can do at the end of the month if we have some extra money over left over but not something that is ingrained and is disciplined and is happening no matter what I have taken the approach of paying myself first which has really helped me because I know myself I want all of you guys to know yourselves too know that if you are given the option of saving or spending most of us will probably spend so we need to be we need to find ways that force us to actually save. So let me use simple numbers here. These are not obviously realistic figures, but these are simple, easy to understand numbers. So say you have $1,000 a month. This is a typical scenario. You are paid $1,000 a month. You have $500 in fixed expenses. So your car payment and your rent comes up to $500 a month. So that's 50% of your income that you know already is going towards your bills. And then you have other expenses that are variable, which can be, let's say, $300 a month. So this covers things like your gas, like the amount of food that you eat, your entertainment, all these things are $300 a month. Now you've spent $800 and you have $200 remaining. For most people, they will decide with that $200, what should I do with it? Hmm, I can either go out to eat, I can go out and uh, go out with my friends, I can do all these things. And then if I have some extra money left over after that, then I will put it in my savings account. That's how most people approach things. I will urge you to take the approach of treating your saving and investing like a bill, something that must be paid and must be paid first. So let's use that same example of $1,000 a month $500 of your fixed expenses. So say I want to save $1,200 for the year. That means I have to save $100 per month. So instead of treating that $100 a month as something that can happen or cannot happen, whether I feel like it, I'm going to treat this as a fixed expense that will be coming out of my bank account every single month without fail and into my either saving or investing account. I will add this into my fixed expenses. So every month I get paid $1,000 
$500 is for my fixed expenses, $100 is going into my bank account for investing, and then the extra money is for my variable expenses. As you can see, this is a different approach than using the leftover money to invest. Nope, we're not doing that anymore. Every single month, $100 is coming out of my paycheck and going into my saving or investing account without fail. There is no room for, oh, I, I don't have enough money this month. You do have enough money, you're just not budgeting correctly. And I will do a whole video about budgeting if you want to see that. So if you want to see that, leave that comment down below. So you're probably asking, okay, I understand that every month I have a budget and I'm going to take out this fixed amount and put it in my saving and investing account, but what are some practical ways to actually do this? And I'm, I'm glad you asked. So personally, I am just like you guys. I often would rather spend my money than save it. So I do this by forcing myself and setting up an automated withdrawal. So every single month when I get paid, say you get paid on the 1st and the 15th of the month. On the 1st, $100 or $50 will come out of my account when I get paid. On the 15th, $15 will come out of my account and, and go into my investing account. This is something that is a great way to force yourself to save because guess what? You don't even see it come out of your account. It just comes out. So you don't, you can't even get the chance to miss it because you've never seen it in your checking account. It automatically comes out. To do this, just call your bank. They can do either a percentage of each increase that comes into your account or they can do a, a fixed amount like the $50 that I just mentioned. As I said, this is a great way to force yourself to invest or save because the money is already gone from your paycheck you don't miss it it's not yours it is your investments another plan that you can do is the drip plan which is the dividend reinvestment plan and so this is say you have dividend paying stocks that you own instead of getting the cash and just leaving it in your investing account you can actually set up something with your bank and then they will take the dividends and reinvest it into shares so this is something I really recommend um, my dad actually purchased a stock for me when I was a child and Every time I get dividends up from it, it just goes back into buying more stock. So since then, I've never seen the dividends since then. They've just been going and buying more and more and more shares for me. I want you guys to get into the habit of knowing that you can only create wealth for yourself if you are taken care of. So make sure that you are paying yourself first, you're putting your needs first, and I know that your bills have to be paid and they will be paid regardless, but you need to get into the habit of paying yourself first. First. Remember, just to summarize, the goal is to not have any cash just laying around doing nothing. Cash that is doing nothing will find its way to 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 be spent. So make sure that you are giving each ta each dollar a job. Each dollar has to go into your investing or your savings account or to your bills, whichever whichever place it's meant to be you must make sure you direct it there. Idle cash is no bueno. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Bye.